Today we're here in my friend's backyard um, looking at a beautiful Aki tree. Um, she's going to tell us about the Aki tree and um, the Aki fruit and how important these are to Jamaicans and um, how they grow when they're ripe, how to cook them. Okay. So Aki is basically the Jamaican national dish and usually what they do they pair it with something called codfish or salt fish and it's a great staple for um, Jamaica it's very important to us Jamaicans and one thing about it is like if you see this one this one right here is not ripe as yet and how you know because it's not open um, if you try to pry it open it's very poisonous really? Yes, it is. It's very poisonous. So if you try to pry it open on your own and try to eat it, you will probably have to go to the hospital. So, but this one, you have to allow it to um, to come to to release the poison from the inside, and then this is a perfect um, perfect time for you to pick the ackee. So when you pick it, you basically snap it off the the um, vine and then you take it off like this and then you have to take out the pit this is the um, ackee seed and you have to remove the pit some people use knife I'm one of those people who prefer to use my fingers I think it works better and after you finish you could boil this they call it paw boil you put it in some water and probably boil it for like five minutes or so and then once you finish boiling it then you could um, store it in your freezer it could be stored for up to like a month probably a year if you really freeze it and um, secure it very very well um, when you're ready to use it you just thaw it out and it doesn't need that much cooking because it's already pot boiled so it's not, it doesn't need that much cooking so as I said the best thing to do is pair it with salt fish salt fish <laughs> yep salt fish Good. Yeah. Look at this one too, though. Yep. They're so pretty. Yeah, beautiful. But dangerous, yeah. Pretty but dangerous if you don't know how to handle it. So it has to be open on its own. If not, it's very. If you try to pry it open on your own, then you are in and eat it. You are in for some problems. So these are ackee buds. These are ackee buds coming out. My husband did say we're gonna have a second harvest, but we harvest a, a lot, and I've given some to my neighbors and my mom and basically they did the same thing by stored it in the freezer yep beautiful ackee tree it's very short too and there's a lot of them on the ground like they tend to do their own little growing there's one right here there's another one right there you turn around there's one right here this is oh, nice one. This one this right a, here. Yeah. there's another little one right here one okay. ackee tree there's another one oh, this is it Excellent. Oh, and it smells so good. I forgot how. To me, it smells so good. It smells so good. Here's a close up of the Aki seed. I'm also going to show you some of the Aki trees in my yard. Here's one. Here's another one. It's a little bit taller and bigger than the first one. Here are some more Aki trees I have going in the pots in my garden. This one here. Another one down here. This one. One's down there. Yeah, there it is. This one here. One here. One over here. So these are under the garden. 
and they're growing very nicely. Here is another one, and it's bringing new leaves. Aki trees are like mango trees. The seeds can spring up almost anywhere, and they just grow. They go really good. Here are some baby ahi trees, and they're growing under the lychee tree. Um, that's why I said ahi, they go pretty well anywhere. Um, and they go really, really big, so these will have to be transplanted. This is the largest aki tree I have in my yard and um, it's finally growing some fruit. You can't see them because they're green, but um, it's a pretty tall tree. This is the largest one. Aki tree. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.